Okay, we want to graph the quadratic now in vertex form. And if you remember, vertex form says y equals a x minus p times x minus q, where p and q are the x-intercepts for this parabola. The easiest thing to find right now is those x-intercepts. We know that we can take it, that if y goes to 0, then either x plus 4 or x plus 1 has to go to 0. So my zeros uh, are x equals negative 4 and negative 1. So we're going we're to plot those points, negative 4, negative 1, uh, 4 is right there. My axis is symmetry in this case, axis, x is equal to, and we're going to take the sum of those two intercepts, negative 4 plus negative 1, and we're going to find the midpoint by dividing by 2. So negative 5 divided by 2 is negative 2 and a half. And again, our axis of symmetry is going to be placed right there at negative 2 and a half. Now that negative 2 and a half, it, it, it's a not, a not fun to have fractions, but negative 5 halves. We can, we can handle that. We need to find our vertex. Now that vertex, because this is facing up, is going to be down there in quadrant 3 someplace. So my vertex is going to be found by putting my axis of symmetry right here at negative 5 halves, comma, and we're going to plug that baby in uh, to my equation. And that will be y equals negative 1 third. That's not true. It's not a negative. So let's stay with positive 1 third. Uh, and then it's going to be negative 5 halves plus 4, which is going to be 8 halves, times negative 5 halves plus 1, which is 2 halves. All right, let's figure this out. So we've got equals 1 third times uh, positive 3 halves times negative 3 halves. And your arithmetic, those threes will cancel, and we will end up with um, negative 3 over 4. And we can find negative 3 fourths, negative 3 fourths. So there's my vertex. So right on this axis of symmetry, negative 3 fourths is going to be almost at 1. And I should have done that in blue, so we're all the same. Okay. And my parabola, again, is going to be a wide parabola. Now, again, if I want to be a little more accurate, I might go ahead and plot in the points x and y, two places beyond the axis of symmetry. Um, and we're going to go or beyond that, two and a half places. So if I plug in 0 and maybe negative 5, those y values should be the same. And we can do that in our head, can't we? So here we go. If I plug in 0 for x, I get... 1 third times 4 times 1. I end up with 4 thirds. Positive 4 thirds would be the case for both of those. 4 thirds is going to be right there at, at 1 and 1 third. And 1 and 1 third. So you see how wide that is? And we have the x-axis, the axis of symmetry, and the vertex plotted.